welcome back to the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. I'm Kimber, and today we're going to dive into something that can really help enhance your horse's performance. I'm going to show you some unique equine exercises. Whether you're working with a seasoned competitor or you're a recreational rider, these exercises are designed to strengthen your horse's body, improve balance, and boost overall performance. But before we jump into this subject matter, let's hear a word from our sponsor, Shagbark Farm and Lumber. Shagbark, yeah baby. Shagbark puts the thrill back into the drill and all your other hardware desires, baby. They've got everything you need under one roof, like some of these sweet specials. Like this Weber Premium Gold Grill. Like this Green Power Lawn Fertilizer. So put the wear back in hardware. You know where, baby. Shagbach Farm and Hardware, Route 82 East Adam. Come give me a hug. Thanks, Shagbark. I use Shagbark feed and lumber for all of my horse's needs. I get my hay, my shavings, and my grain from Shag Bark. I've known Fred Hunt and Heather for many years. Um, I've been getting grain from them, grain and supplies, since the 80s. That makes me really old. All right, let's jump into this. This first segment is about warm up and flexibility. So first off, like any athlete, your horse needs a proper warm up too, okay? Just like you. You're not going to go run a marathon, you know, like without warming up, practicing, getting yourself in shape and condition. Like that would not be fair to your body. And boy, you'd pay the price for it, right? So not only does a proper warm up prevent injury, but it can also help prepare your horse mentally for the work going forward. One of my personal favorite warm up exercises is the lateral neck flexion. Now, I've been doing this for a very long time. It's how I start my babies when they're getting started under saddle. Um, and then I continue to do it. Dakota does these lateral exercises all the time. And right now, he is healing from suspensory desmitis in his rear leg. Um, it's a six month healing protocol and we're going to continue to do our lateral flexions every single day as part of his you know increasing of walking for the next few months and this simple movement can help to release tension in the neck and shoulders and they're oftentimes very tight in performance horses so to do this, you want to gently encourage your horse to bend its neck towards the rib cage using a very light pressure and repeating this on both sides. I do it multiple times. Uh, if I have to, I'll use a treat to get Dakota to, uh, to give laterally. There's also the foreleg stretch. And that will loosen up the shoulder and helps prevent stiffness after intense workouts. A strong core is very much essential for a horse to move efficiently and safely, right? So you've heard people say it, you know, collect your horse. Is your horse un moving underneath itself? Is it on the bit? And one unique core exercise that I love is the belly lift. And this is a simple yet powerful exercise that will engage the abdominal, abdominal muscles and it encourages your horse to lift its back. So you're going to use gentle pressure along the midline of the belly to get your horse to engage those core muscles. This is going to help improve the top line and that's critical for performance horses in any discipline. Another exercise that works wonders is pole work at a walk. Walking your horse over raised poles will engage the core, which strengthens the hindquarters and will improve balance and coordination. So don't underestimate that. I have always got ground poles out. They're even in Dakota's paddock. And they're, you know, just as I said, ground poles, they're on the ground and we walk over them, we step over them. So speaking of balance, 
I have found that pole exercises are some of the best for building coordination and balance. You can set up poles at varying distances and heights, and this will keep your horse thinking and adjusting their stride, which in turn will help them develop better coordination. Another great tool is the slalom exercise. So you'll set up cones or poles in a zigzag pattern and you'll guide your horse through the turns. This will promote suppleness in the horse's body and it will enhance their ability to balance through tighter movements going through those poles. It's constant adjustment. It's especially helpful for those that are looking to improve performance in dressage or jumping. All right, never under, underestimate hill work. I love hill work, up and down. So if you're looking to challenge your horse and take strength training up a notch, hill work is amazing. Truly, truly, truly. Walking or trotting your horse uphill is a natural way to build muscle in the hind quarters, and that's vital for propulsion and overall performance. I love it. This is why I love to trail ride, which we can't do right now because Dakota's healing from an injury. Ah! Anyways, okay, do I sound frustrated? A little bit. I swear he heard me say, oh, it's getting cooler. It's time and the bugs aren't bad. It's time to hit the trails again. He was like, I don't think so. I'm going to go out and play with the other ponies and get hurt. Oh, well, here we go. So if you want to do something even more advanced, consider adding Cavaletti training. So working your horse at different gates over Cavalettis, you're gonna build muscle and also teach your horse to control their body in a more refined way. This is really important for show jumpers and eventers. Well, there you have it. These are the unique equine exercises that are great for improving performance, whether or not you're working with a competitive athlete or your backyard trail partner, like my Dakota. Remember, Always listen to your horse, start slow, and build up the difficulty as they get stronger and adapt to the exercises. Well, thanks for joining me today on the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. And as always, keep your heart open and your heels down. Thanks again.